Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I'm excited uh, this evening uh, to deliver to you the word of God. I'm Dale S. Jr. Uh, with I Am uh, Reunion. And I just want to let you know that God is love and love is God. And again, I am cited uh, the trap of the enemy under my feet uh, tonight. Uh, the day has been a great day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm, I'm just still excited to deliver this message uh, to you all tonight. Uh, the title of this message is uh, The Key uh, That You're Looking For Is Already In The Door. The key that you're looking for is already in the door. I have a, a dear friend uh, of mine, and that's kind of how I came up with this title. Uh, she had been looking uh, for this key for months, you know, and couldn't find the key. But uh, the, the situation with the key was the key was already in the door. The key was already in the door. Uh, praise God. Uh, what I want to do is uh, I, I'll be reading from 2 Kings uh, chapter 7, and uh, we'll start off and we'll read uh, verse 1. Uh, that's uh, 2 Kings uh, chapter 7, verse 1, uh, and it reads, I'm reading out the King James Version. It says, Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Uh, Thus said the Lord. Uh, tomorrow, about this time, uh, shall a measure of fine flour uh, be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. Uh, we kind of talking about uh, the life of uh, Elijah. Elijah, a great man of God, a prophet. Uh, you know, he prayed that that you know it wouldn't rain. You know. Uh, you even see in uh, 2 Kings uh, chapter 6 um, where, where he, he talks about it, uh, you know, it was a brother that was, was with him and he was hitting the wood with the axe and the axe head fell uh, into the water. And uh, Isaiah said to the, the, the brother said to Isaiah, man, that axe head that, I, that fell into the water, I borrowed it. Man, I'm, I'm I'm hurt. He was hurt because he borrowed uh, the axe, you know, or the axe head. And that brother Elijah, he said, you know, don't even worry about it. He went to the water where it fell. He threw a piece of wood in there, and and in and a and a text says that the iron floated, and he was able to retrieve it. I'm here to tell you tonight that God is able to retrieve. Uh, everything that you may have lost. God is able to retrieve everything that you may have lost. Woo! But you got to trust him. You got to trust him tonight. Won't you trust him tonight? Won't you trust him tonight? I'm talking about the key uh, that you're looking for is already in the door. The key that you're looking for is already in the door. And it's three points that I want to uh, touch on today. Uh, I'm talking about the, the three things uh, that the leopards acknowledge the three things that the leopards acknowledge. You know, we're talking about the uh, the, the the leopard men that was at the gate of Samaria. Uh, let's let's read further in the text. Again, uh, uh, that's Second uh, Kings uh, chapter six, verse seven, uh, and it reads uh, verse one, and it reads. Uh, then Elijah said, "Hear ye." Uh, the word of the Lord, thus said the Lord, tomorrow about this time shall measure of fine flour be sold uh, for a shekel and two measures of barley uh, for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. You know, that's just like saying the, the day gas prices is the day, tomorrow gas prices is going to be high. You know, uh, thus said the Lord, you know, glory to God. Uh, let's, let's read further verse two. It said, then a uh, uh, Lord on whose hand the king learned, answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make uh, windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it uh, with thy own eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. He telling the, the uh, king, like, look, you're going to see all this happen. 
uh, but you, you, you're you not going to even be able to partake in it, you know. So we, we also looking into the life of Elijah. Wow, you know, and me, I'm just uh, discovering and rediscovering the text in the Bible. And it's just so awesome, uh, the power that we have. It's awesome that the power that we have, the, the enemy run at the fear of your voice, at the fear of your name. Oh, that's Dale S. Jr. Oh, the enemy fear of uh, your name, or, or, or that's your name. The enemy fear your name. Just, just to hear your name called, the enemy run and hide because guess what? Uh, we're, we're mighty uh, with the word of God. Hey, amen. We're mighty uh, with the word of God in us. We are mighty with the word of God in us. And I'm excited that the enemy has already been defeated. I'm excited that the enemy has already defeated. God has supplied all our needs. And I'm talking about the keys uh, that you're looking for. They already in the door. You don't even have to worry. The key is already in the door. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to continue with the text. Uh, we're looking at 2 Kings uh, chapter 7. Let's, let's look at verse uh, 3. It say, and there... Uh, were well, four leopards, okay? You know, what? what is a leopard? Leopard, you know, the, uh, the leopards that had leopard disease, they was an outcast uh, to the community, uh, you know, and, and, and you know, it, it's, it's kind of like, you know, somebody with disease or somebody with corona or whatever, like, man, they are outcast right now. But but look at what, what the outcasts do. Let's look at verse three again. And uh, there were four leopard men, at the entering into entering of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit it we here until we die? Okay, let, let me read that again. And there were four leopard men and and they and the entered into the gates and they said one to another, why sit it we here until we die? So it was a famine going on in the land that they were in, and the only way to purchase uh, food was them to go to through the the gate of Samaritan, you know. So, so uh, the first point I want to make uh, about the leopards are uh, the three things that the leopard acknowledged. Uh, number one, they had to make a move to survive. I don't know what's going on in your life today. I don't know if you live in New York, Chicago, or L.A., you know, but sometimes you may have to make a move uh, to survive. I don't know if the, the rent is increasing or the price is increasing or the laws are increasing or the unjust uh, stuff is increasing or the ungodliness is increasing. But sometimes you have to make a move uh, to survive. And I'm here to tell you that God is able to make our grace abound to you. You know, we're talking about the key that you're looking for is already in the door. God already granted you access uh, to his grace, uh, to his wisdom, to his knowledge, uh, to his word. Uh, through. But you have to access it uh, through faith. You have to access it through your faith in God. And like I said, I'm excited uh, that I Am Reunion is trumpeting over the, uh, the devil right now, you know. Just to say I am reunion, just to say God reunion, the devil is trembling in his footsteps. And I'm not afraid, and I'm not scared, and I'm not ashamed of the preach the gospel of the word of God. I'm not ashamed, I'm not afraid to preach the gospel of the word of God. Because guess what? God is forever present. God is omnipresent. God is forever present in every situation or encounter you may face. God is always present. So guess what? I am God's man, and this is God's reunion, and God has my back, and God has your back as long as you are in Christ. Glory to God. And we're talking about the keys uh, that you're looking for are already in the door. Let's continue reading in the text. I'm reading in 2 Kings uh, chapter 7. Uh, let's look at verse three. And, and there were four leopard men and they entered into the gates and they said uh, one to another, why we sit here until we die. Uh, verse four, if we say uh, we will enter into the city, uh, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit 
uh, still will die also. Now, therefore, come and let us uh, fall uh, unto the host of the Syrian. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall die. So, so basically, Leper said, look, if, if we stay where we at, we surely going to die because we don't have food to eat. But guess what? If we go to the Syrian, uh, at least we may have a chance. You know, and I'm talking about the three things that the leper acknowledged. Okay, now I want to talk about the second thing that the leper acknowledged. What he acknowledged, they had to make a move. I mean, they had to acknowledge that they had a 50-50 chance if they go into uh, the Sumerian, if they go into the gate. They had a 50-50 chance to live if they go into the gate. They had a 50-50 chance to live. Sometimes uh, in life, uh, we have to make a decision, you know, and we have to make an educated uh, decision. We have to make a spiritual decision to say, well, you know what? You know, if, if we don't do this, if we don't do this, and in my opinion, if we don't self Christ, if we don't self Christ, you know, then, you know, we definitely not finna get into heaven. We definitely not in a, inherit uh, the heaven on earth. We definitely not going to do that, you know. So so uh, what, what we have to do if we accept Christ today and we live a righteous lifestyle and we live a lifestyle acceptable, okay, you know, uh, like, like the leper was saying, look, at least we have a 50-50 chance. And surviving at least we have a 50 50 chance of surviving you know so he's they said that that if we go there you know maybe they'll feed us or, or whatever you know or, or or maybe they'll kill us but guess what if we if we stay in the state that we in some of us the state that we in we may be living in a reprobated mind state you know maybe we just doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result maybe we living in a sanity the sanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over uh expecting a different result you know uh, but if you want your result to change you have to change you have to do something different and i'm asking you uh today and i'm praying today lord as i lift you up i pray that that they are self uh, you as the way. Because God said, Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the light. No way ain't coming to the Father but uh, through Jesus. So I pray that you accept Jesus today. Uh, we're talking about the key uh, that you're looking for is already in the door. Let's continue reading in the check, the text. Uh, we're in 2 Kings 7. Uh, let's look at verse 4. It say, If we say <clears throat> we will enter into the city, uh, then the famine is in the city. The famine is already in the city, okay? You know, uh, then the famine is in the city and we shall uh, die then and we we sit still here. You can't sit still here, you know? Whatever you're going through right now, you know, whether you're homeless or whatever, it's based on decision. We can't sit here. We can't sit here. You know, we may have to sit on bow, bended knees and we have to pray to God, 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 please help my situation. Please help my sin. Lord, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. God, I want to trust you today. I want to trust you with my life. I want to trust you with all that I have because maybe all I have is nothing. But, but I'm going to give you the nothing, Lord, that I have. And I just pray that, that you make me something. Glory to God. I pray that you make me something, that you make me whole again. I have to trust you. I have to hang on to your, 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 hang on to your hand and trust you. Glory to God. Let's continue to read verse five. It said, let's read verse four. Uh, it said, if we say uh, we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we shall we, we sit still here, we, we, we die also. Now, therefore, come and let us fall into the host of the Syrian. If they save us alive, uh, we shall live. And if they kill us, uh, we shall die. And, and they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrian. And when uh, they were coming to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrian, behold, there was uh, no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrian to hear 
a noise of cheering and a noise of a horse and even the noise of a great host. And, and they said one to another, lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians are to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled into the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses and even the camp as it was and fled uh, for their life. Okay, so basically the uh, the lepers, you know, they going into Samaria, man, and, and the whole camp is gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm here to tell you that God is able to make all grace abound to you, all your situation. We worried about what may happen. We worried about what may happen. What if it happened? You know, but God said, as long as you trust in me, as long as you trust in me, whoo, I'm going to make your path straight. God said, if you acknowledge me, I'll direct your path. Don't, don't worry about if the enemy is there. Don't worry about it if the enemy is here to persecute. Don't worry about that. I can make your enemy your footstool. Glory to God. I'm happy to trample over the enemy today. God is granted victory in your life today. Won't you accept him today? Romans 10 and 9 says, If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Glory to God. Won't you accept him today? We're talking about the keys. Are you looking for are already in the door. The keys that you're looking for are already in the door. Let's continue reading in the text. We're in 2 Kings uh, chapter 6. Uh, let's read verse 7. Wherefore, uh, they arose, arose and they fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses and even the camp as it was as it uh, fled to their life. And when these lepers came to the utmost part of the temple, they came into the tent and did eat and drink and carry uh, this silver and gold and raiment and went ahead and came again. What? And entered into the tent and carried this also and went and hid it. Then they said one to another, we do not well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning, some mischief will come upon us. Now, therefore, come that we may go and tell the king's household. Woo. Now, now I'm going to have to go back through that a little slow, real quick. And we're going to be finished with the text right now. It's too meaty for me to get into the whole thing. It's really too meaty for me. Okay, so so let's let's go back to verse 9 and say, Then they said one to another. Let, let's go back. Let's back up to verse 8. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the tent, they went into the tent and they did eat and drink and they carried this silver and gold. What? The place where God has told you to go is already flowing uh, with silver and gold. It's flowing with milk and honey. But, but have we listened to the word, to the voice of God? It don't matter what your situation is. You, you, we talking about the leopards are entering into a city filled with silver and gold. The, uh, and I classify the leopards as, as the people that, that are the downtrodden, the hurt ones. The, the, the people that, that have been rejected, they haven't been accepted. People like me, you know, the people that said you, you can't be nothing. The people that said that, look, your, your glasses is too thick. You know, your, your glasses is too thick. You know, people that, that talk about you behind your back. You know, we, we're talking about the lepers. I'm a leopard today. You know, God, I'm a leopard today. Let me be a leopard today. Glory to God, because they, they, they're talking about the people that are downtrodden. The people that are talked about, the people that are abused by their husbands, the people that are abused by their wives, the people that are abused by their family and friends, that, that we, we're talking about the lepers. They are the lepers. God want to get you to the silver and gold. The, the victory has already been defeated. As you see in uh, 2 Kings, the victory has already been defeated. All you have to do is enter into the door. What? The door of the city. What? The key... It's already there. The key is already there. We're talking about the key uh, that you're looking for. It's already in the door. God said all the provisions are made. The key is in the door. The door is open. 
All you have to do is enter. Once you enter the door today, once you enter the door today, once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, uh, once, you, once you accept this righteous uh, lifestyle, I'm not saying that, that you got to be perfect. I'm not saying that you're going to be perfect, but I'm saying that you accept that, that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. I know, know people have other doctrine. I know people talking about the Big Bang Theory. I know people talking about the Big Bang Theory and, and stuff like that. You know, but I'm here to tell you that God has a theory. Glory to God. God has a theory. And God's theory is that you may prosper and be in good health and be yeah, and meet your needs and that you be whole. Glory to God. So once you trust him today, we're talking about the key uh, you're looking for is already in the door. Let, let's kind of read further in the text. And, and that brings me to the third point. The third point uh, that the leopard acknowledged is they acknowledge uh, that this was a day of good tidings. The leopard acknowledged that this was a day of good tidings. Once you make it, once you go through the door and you accept God in faith, God is telling you, like, look, won't you acknowledge that this is a day of good tidings? You know, you don't have to worry about uh, going to hell. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, being in a place of torment, you know, because you can call on your brother or your sister in Christ. You can call on your friends in Christ. You can call on DLS Jr. DLS Jr. will pray for you. Glory to God. We, we're talking about the key uh, you're looking for is already there. And I'm not afraid of the enemy because the enemy is already defeated. The enemy is under my feet. Glory to God. The enemy is under our feet. Glory to God. Let's read verse 8 again. And, and when the lepers came uh, to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into the tent and did eat and drink and carried their silver and gold and the raiment and went and hid it. They got it. Uh, it's so much. We got to hide this. You know, it's so much. Like, we got to hide it. You, you don't have to hide it, but, but they hid it because they never experienced the abundance of Christ. They never experienced uh, the abundance of the living God. So they took it and they hid it. But I'm telling you, the message and the precious jewels uh, that I Am Reunion is bringing, don't, don't hide it just for yourself. Go and tell the dying world. Help your friend. Help your brother. Glory to God, we're here to help a friend, help a brother. Do your part. Go ye into the world and preach the gospel everywhere in the world. Shout out to the people that's in New York, to the Philippines, to the UK, uh, to Houston. Uh, we, we want to, God want to bless you today. Glory to God. God want to bless you today. If you're in the Bronx, New York today, God want to bless you today. If you're in Queens today, if you're in Harlem today, God want to bless you today. If you're in Atlanta, Georgia today, God want to bless you today. Glory to God. God want to bless you today with his blessings. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to thank him today that the devil, the enemy, or whatever you may call it, is already under our feet. Glory to God. Because God sent his word to heal the land and his word was Jesus Christ and the word became flesh and the flesh dwelled among us and the flesh died that we may have life and have it more abundantly to the fullest of measure. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all should be excited. Say amen in the chat. Glory to God. Amen in the comment that you've been delivered because guess what? The keys that you're looking for are already in the door. The keys that you're looking for are already in the door. You don't have to look no more. You don't have to look no farther. The keys uh, that you're looking for is already in the door. Let, let me read this uh, couple of scriptures and I'm going to go ahead and close. Let's look at uh, 2 Kings 7 verse 9. It said, then they said one to another, we do not well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace and we tarry till the morning light some mischief will come upon us now therefore come that we may go and tell uh the king's household so so we're talking about the the three things the leopard acknowledged okay the third thing they acknowledged that that this was a day of good tidings so if this is a day of good tidings for you if i am reunion have been good tidings for you then they say, man, look, it's it, it, by midnight, look, it's midnight, look, we can't hold it to ourselves. We got to go tell somebody. Let's go tell somebody. 
Like, subscribe, comment. Let's go tell somebody what thus says the Lord because this is I am. This is God's uh, reunion, you know, and, and this is the time. You know, this is our time right now uh, to go ye into the world and preach the gospel. You know, let's 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 back up to, to verse 7, uh, 2 King verse 7. Let's read what it said. It said, uh, then Elijah said, hear ye uh, the words of the Lord. Thus said the Lord tomorrow. And he was talking about the king, right? He was trying to warn the king. He was prophesying to the king. He said, then Elijah said, hear uh, ye the words of the Lord. Hear ye the words of the Lord. Then as Junior say, hear ye the words of the Lord. What? Uh, verse uh, number seven, it said, uh, then Elijah said, hear ye uh, the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord tomorrow about this time a measure of fine flour will be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley uh, for shekel in the gate uh, of Samaria. Now, now, now we're going to skip down to verse uh, 20 uh, and we're going to see the result of the king uh, that didn't listen uh, to the word of God, that didn't listen to the man of God. Let's, let's look at verse 20. And so it fell. What? Let, let's, let's back up to verse 19. Verse 19, it says, and the Lord answered the man of God and said, Now, behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it uh, with thy eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. You didn't believe the word of God. He didn't believe the word of God, right? So he said, You know what? You're not going to even be able to, that you're going to be able to see it but you're not going to be able to eat of the blessings of the Lord. Let's look at verse 20. It said, and so it fell out unto him uh, for the people tried it upon him in the gates and he died. So they at the gates of Samaria, they, they hear about uh, the prophecy. They hear about uh, the abundance that's over there. And, and, and the king stood at the gate. He didn't enter and he just got ran over. You know, he just got trotted down, you know. So so let's not be like uh, the king and not hear the word of God and apply it to our life. You know, again, I'm going to make one more appeal. You know, uh, the first appeal uh, that I'm making is, is for you to join Jesus. Jesus said in, in uh, Romans 10, 9, if you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in it, uh, your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. You know, I pray that you say that prayer with me, you know, and, and the Bible say when, when uh, someone gets saved, uh, that the angel rejoice in heaven. So I, I pray and I know that the angels are rejoicing if you accept Jesus in your life. And I'm, I'm not telling you it's going to be an easy road. I'm not telling you it's going to be a short road, but I'm just telling you that with God in your life, are uh, you able to make it through? With God in your life, you're able to make it through and, 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 and you're able to obtain eternal life in the life after this. Glory to God. And, and I'm talking about the key uh, that you're looking for is already in the door. The key that you're looking for is already in the door. You've been searching. You've been searching for something. Maybe you tried drugs. Maybe you tried alcohol. Maybe, maybe you tried, uh, you know, uh, various different things, but uh, I'm telling you tonight, won't you try Jesus? Uh, won't you accept him tonight? I'm Dale S. Jr. Uh, with I Am Reunion, and I'm here to just tell you that God is love, and love is God, and, and won't, you, won't you accept him today? I'm Dale S. Jr. I'm out.